Bam! You know what it is? We're about to get cracking, ladies and gentlemen. Ten seconds. Oh wait, we're we're down to five seconds. Ba ba boom ba 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 boom ba 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 boom ba. What's Chris acting, everyone? Chris cracking, Chris cracker, nose jacker, pig packer. Smoke crackers, live lacquers. This is the ninth Dynamite Gizmo podcast. I'd like to welcome you to the brand new studio. Well, I shouldn't say welcome because that was uh, yesterday's podcast. That was the welcoming. Today we've been welcomed and welcomed enough. I'm not wearing the glasses because I decided not to. Because I don't feel like it. I wear them when I feel like it. Now remember, we don't just uh, jump right into these podcasts. We like to slow dive. You know what I'm saying? Slow dive. Because normally you would do this just to warm up. uh, So that your viewers could have a chance to show up. Which is what the the intro is pretty much for, but uh, I don't have any viewers, so I don't have any reason to wait. Big old thing of parade! Look at all the blue. We got a blue shirt, a blue hat, a blue parade, and I would have had blue glasses if I would have decided to wear them. Maybe that's why I decided not to wear them. Too much blue. And there's quite the delay, I'm noticing, which is totally fine, because no one else would know. I got my card. This is blue, too. Too much blue going on today. What was I thinking? If you're colorblind, do you think that's blue? Because it ain't. It's more of a light turquoise green. I forgot how sensitive this microphone is. Let me turn up the gain a little bit. Test, 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 test. Too much, too much, too little. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. Grandma, I'm telling you. It's too late to apologize, Grandma. Grandma, Grandma. Hold on a second, folks. I gotta do something. Bing bong, bing bing bong, bing bing bong, bing bing bong, bong. Maybe I'll get the glasses while I'm up. Remember, this is my podcast, so I can do what the fuck I want. If I want to get up, you don't fucking talk. Biatch! Listen to what you hear, Biatch. Because what you hear... It's not a fasca fascinating reality, but if you want me, you can come and get me, cause I'm not for free. I'm not for free. Don't worry, I'll be back on camera in a second. Give me a second. One, two, three. Everybody count with me. I'm on the Sesame Street. I'm on the Sesame Street. Don't pay attention to what you hear, cause what you hear is coming from my rear. Out my bomb hole is poop. What is poop? Pick it up and squish it around. We're gonna break dance in my poo. We're gonna break dance in my poo. Poo! Listen to how my voice crackles. The sound of poo. Poo! Okay, I think we're pooed out here. Let me just get my poo into my system.
I just ran into a fire <laughs> and saved a kitten. Yeah. And I was just breathing in smoke <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give myself a hernia. That's how hernias are started. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's how... <laughs> That's how hernias are started. Right, Gizmo? <laughs> right, Gizmo? I love me some Powerade. Now just remember, we're easing into the podcast. So... <laughs> So we're, we're just about there. Let's get partying. Let's get cracking. Let's get to it. What's the first? <laughs> What's the first thing on our list here? Right, it's the ninth Dynamite Gizmo podcast, the ninth episode. Congratulations! Put your hands. Well, there's nothing to celebrate. It's only nine episodes. It's not <coughs> that big of a deal. You want to know why? Because I'm looking at the statistics right now, and I am the only person watching. And I was going to get the glasses. Did not remember. I ran into that fire, saved the kitten. Didn't even think about the glasses. (coughs) Uh, So as I was saying, the first tick on my list. Why does it keep getting dark in here? Come on! The first tick on the list is nine is my favorite number. Well, one of my favorite numbers, which it is. Nine is the first and four is the second. And together makes 94. 94 is my favorite number. Probably because I was born in 1994. (coughs) But I, I don't know. I just like the numbers. I like nine and four. And I was also born on the fourth day, but it was the eleventh month. So, did you see me looking at the mic right there? What were you thinking? Tell me what you were thinking. You know, it's not that hard to look at both of the cameras. I was saying in the other podcast that I wear the glasses... So that uh, people don't get confused about which camera I'm looking at. But it's n- now they're pretty close together. Which I guess they kind of always were. <laughs> oh, I'm going to puke all over this microphone. I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. I'm fine. I'm fine. Speaking of, sp- speaking of puke, I had... I totally forgot about this. I write these cards usually the day before, okay? So you're going to think I'm bullshitting, but literally the next tick is flash puke. I got to talk about flash puke. So, obviously I was just thinking about flash puking last night. So flash puking, for those who don't know, and this is this is just a speculation because I can't quite remember what I was thinking about. But it was something crazy, obviously. Flash puke. So flash puke is when you uh, um, uh, when you get up, you're walking past your buddy. You're like, hey, what's going on, bro? And then you puke on him like that, right as he's about to give you his response. That's a flash puke. Uh, it happens sometimes. It happens with babies. Babies like the flash puke. You'll be holding one. And it'll puke in your face, it'll puke in your bed, pee in your bed, poop in your mouth, poop, uh, poop drippings on the floor, pee drips on the floor, because the diaper overfills with pee, and dribbles on the floor, like a little faucet, running around. Flash puke, so let me know if you've ever flashed puke. I'm going to write that right in the message board here. Have... 
because nobody's here and if anyone shows up and they happen to read the message board they're gonna answer this question have you ever flash puked and it's pretty easy to know what i'm talking about just by the context you like my man titties I knew I shouldn't have wore this shirt. You can see my fucking tits. Oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> what I don't understand on Twitch is why it says it says watching now one total views 25. What does that mean? Total view because it says that every time. It said it as soon as I started it, and I n there was never twenty five p. I don't fucking know. Why am I even talking? If I don't know the answer, I'm not gonna figure it out by a talking to myself. Because there's no one here to a answer. There's no one watches this stupid shit. It's pissing me off. <laughs> not really. Not really. Yes, it is! Fuck! No, nah, it's not. Yeah! I'm gonna break it! Test, test? Okay. I thought I muted her. I thought I mutilated her. That's... Yeah, I know I'm hairy. I get it. I get it. I get it! Uh, the next tick... Kids now grow up with cameras. I didn't. <laughs> and then I uh I put a little arrow uh, for the YouTube shitheads. <laughs> and it says I'm an old person argument. Cause remember I was saying old people hate when young people have a a new idea. They just refute it right away. They're like, get that fucking idea away from me, you stupid inbred. Because they hate. They hate when anybody tries to mess with their religion or any of their beliefs. If they grew up believing it, you ain't fucking changing their mind. They'll even shoot you before they... They believe what you want them to believe. It's the truth, Ruth. Well, not all of them. Some old people are cool. I bet if uh, Biggie Smalls grew up to be a, an old person, he'd be cool. He'd be cool. Look at my ugly ass shirt, man. It's all stretched out. Oh, this is. F this was a horrible choice. I should go. Ch I'm gonna go change my shirt. I can do what I fucking want. So I'm going to do it. Static electricity. Who likes mozzarella? 
I like mozzarella. Who likes Bob Marley? I don't. Hello, folks. No one showed up. Fantastic. It's just what I expected. Don't even have a message on me phone. <coughs> no, we don't have to jump right into things. Who says we have to jump into stuff? Not this guy. Not me. Not me. <laughs> My new character. I call it uh, Sloth. <laughs> From uh, the Gooners. Who here watched the Gooners when they were a cool kid? A cool Klux kid. <laughs> I was a cool Klux kid. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 that sounds horrible. I'm just meaning to say I was a kid. I was a chid. I was a Kit Kat. I was a Raggedy Ann Kit Kat man. What does that mean? You guys know Raggedy Ann? What? <laughs> okay, I gotta get back on task here. Kids, kids now grow up with like with cameras. I didn't. Ba well, basically, that sounds so stupid, if just coming out of my mouth like that. But what I meant was, you know, I had a camera growing up. Obviously, there's evidence of it on YouTube. You can see me at like 12 years old in fucking Walmart and Canadian Tire with my friend Matt. We even made a video called "Lost in the Woods," I think. Something in the woods. I was young. That was, uh, that, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But I had a camera, and that camera I had to purchase. Well, I didn't purchase. It was a gift. It was gifted. Okay? But there had to be some sort of arrangement to get a camera. But now, you know, as soon as you're born, you got a cell phone in your face and then you just grow up getting your picture taken every day by your parents and the kid gets to use the camera and it's, that's what I was trying to say that kids are just exposed to so much technology now which is a good thing and that is why it would sound like I was ha doing an old person argument but I'm not because I'm saying it's a good thing. <laughs> okay? I went to go save the kitty. And the smoke inhalation got me a little bonkers. The smoke from the kitty cat in the fire in the tree house. I climbed up a tree house and I was breathing in a lot of smoke. That's what you just saw. Bop, bop, boopity, bong, bong. Get it straight. Epider epidermic epidermic needles get your epidermic needles here at www uh, gregoryadams.org I think that's uh, beer I think SoundCloud ooh SoundCloud what's SoundCloud if you notice on my uh, little end card at the end if you ever pay attention which uh, you don't but if you do you'll notice there's a SoundCloud button a SoundCloud button. Uh, that's because there's an audio-only version of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. If you want to, you know, listen to it while you're jogging, listen to it while you're spanking, listen to it while you're on a plane, listen to it while you're taking a dumpling, while you're making dumplings. Listen to it while you make a vegetable soup. Drop your phone in the soup. And call her a day. That's when you know it's over. That's when you know life is over. That is when you need to go to your living room. And turn on your TV. Smash it with a hammer. Throw it out the window. Jump out the window. Hopefully survive the landing. Jump in your car. Drive to Mexico, 
Uh, test crash, a dummy airplane landing. You know what I'm saying? Simple geography. And get it, don't get it twisted. So don't check me out on SoundCloud. www.soundcloud.com something slash whatever the forward slash, I guess. Or is it backslash? Who the fuck cares? It's one of them. Just type Dynamite Gizmo SoundCloud. Don't even do that. Just go to the fucking description. You'll figure it out. What am I even talking about? You don't even have to tell people links. That's kind of something that bugs me. When people... People still do this a lot. But it's I guess it's not something to be bugged by. But it's a little bit aggravating. When people on podcasts usually, or radio or TV even, they're promoting themselves, themselves, uh, and they list the whole fucking URL. Why don't you just say, check me out on YouTube, and say what your name is, or say what your product is. Like, if you're a sham wow motherfucker, and you're on Ellen, and she's like, oh, promote yourself. He'd be like, check me out at www.shamwow.com, or check me out on Twitter, at shamwow. You know, all that shit. Just say, all you gotta say is follow me on Twitter. And if you'll f- people will be able to find you easily, very easily. Because everyone has that little authorization so you know who's the real deal. So they don't have to search very hard. There's not a lot of searching involved. You can find every s- every popular person easily. Even if they're not popular, you just type their name in and you'll find the right person. Within a minute. But, <laughs> I'm not one for talking. Was that a saying? That doesn't sound right. Well, anyway, you, because I do the same thing. On my outro, it says, at Dynamagizmo, for pretty much, well, it says, at Dynamagizmo for everyone except for Twitter. Which is so stupid. <laughs> I should just change my Twitter to at Dynamagizmo. Or what, I, or what I'm thinking of doing is just clumping all the dynamite gizmos together. And just being like, all these are dynamite gizmo. And just Twitter is Justin Pitchock. Because it is. I, I don't know why I did that. Everything else is dynamite gizmo. But my Twitter is Justin Pitchock. God damn. God damn hoes, here we go again. Playing with me. But that's okay. I'm gonna leave it. It's fine. No, I'll change it eventually. I'm getting cards made up. So I can just hand it to people and be like, Check me out, bitch. I'm a player hater. <laughs> no, I won't talk like that, ever. <sighs> Nobody's watching. <laughs> I have I have a feeling I'm gonna make like I'm gonna get to 100 episodes, <laughs> and it's still not gonna have any viewers. Even though yesterday I did have a viewer, I had big comfy crotch, <laughs> and I guess uh, on my Periscope I had a, v- a few viewers, quite a few actually. And YouTube gets a little bit. Uh, there's a few of my videos that have quite a few views. But uh, these Twitches, they ain't twitching. Damn, that smoke really hit me in the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the next one. <laughs> who here watches Ethan or who here watches H3H3 Productions 
I do because I'm the only one here watching. <laughs> um. Oh, this is dumb. No, it's cool. I'm gonna keep going. You don't stop. If I was 12, I would quit right now and say this is fucking gay, and I would give up. I would say gay, but I don't need. I don't say that anymore. I'm just saying when I was 12, I would have said that. <laughs> but you know what? The idea is to keep going. If you keep going and doing it every day, eventually you'll gain viewership. Because I'll have more practice and I'll get better with each day. And a little bit of promotion every day goes a long way. You know what I'm saying, bruh? So, H3H3 Productions. <laughs> uh... This tick says, whoops, my hat is the same color as Ethan. Ethan himself, my hat is the same color as Ethan McMeister himself. That's not his last name. It's Ethan. What the fuck is Ethan's last name? I gotta look that up before I uh, reveal my hat. I know you're trying to t take a sneak peek at my hat, and you're like, "Let me take a look at that beak." If it's not a purple beak, I'm going home. Eth, eth, h three, h tree. Fucking cocksucker! I'm in the wrong keyboard. You ever do that? Mm hmm. What the hell? Ethan Klein. Fucking Jew. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That sounded horrible. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that, bruh. I was just kidding around, homie. Oh my fucking fuck. Big comfy crotch is back. God damn it, fool. You're the only consistent viewer. And I was sitting here saying to myself, Why? I'm never going to get any viewers. But no. And I even mentioned Big Comfy Crotch was here yesterday. And what happens? I'm looking up Ethan Klein. And Big Comfy Crotch shows his, his stanky ass back up again. What eat hen's last name is Shh. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Where was I with the H3? H3. Oh, yeah, my fucking hat. I gotta show my stupid hat. God damn it. Bob Marley. Ta da. I can't reveal the logo. So sorry, Big Comfy Crotch. You, you probably don't even know what's going on, Big Comfy Crotch, because you weren't here for the first half of it. So go f fudge your packer, my friend. I'm like the AIDS and the shits. You can't get rid of me, so you deal with it. You tell them, Big Comfy Crotch. That's why they call you Big Comfy Crotch. Because you're big and you're comfy, but you're a fucking crotch. So if you get AIDS, you gotta deal with it. You gotta stay big and you gotta stay comfy, right? Just have a little Powerade. You get a bit of blue waffle. No big deal. Just go with the flow, homie. Let me tell you something, big comfy. K Rotch. Don't be talking shit about Ethan motherfucking Klein, motherfucker. Alright? Ethan and uh, Hila are awesome. I love I love their stuff. And it sucks that they uh that they had to leave YouTube for their uh their main stuff. 
and Big Comfy Crotch, you missed, uh, I had an encounter with, uh, with a fire, there was a huge fire, lots of smoke, I inhaled, <laughs> I inhaled, a l <laughs> I inhaled a lot of smoke, I'm reading your comments as I'm, uh, talking, that's why I'm laughing, but I inhaled a lot of smoke, and I saved the cat, but then I showed back up on camera, and uh, things got a little wonky for a little while. You missed her. And listen, listen, Mr. Big Comfy Crotch. I don't invite every fucking person who follows me, okay? If you want to watch my shiznit, you got to follow either my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, my SoundCloud, even follow me on Twitch. Just follow me on Twitch. I I put notifications at least three to four hours in advance. And no, they did not leave YouTube for porn. And I, do, I don't know about iDubs. That guy is just a crazy motherfucker. Okay? I... D U B B B or whatever Z Z triple dog fuck she. That guy is crazy. Him and that filthy Frank, they're gross. I can't I can't even watch the videos that they make. Like the hair the hair cake. Yeah, I have a cat. I have a puss puss. You want to see my pussy? I'm gonna let my pussy in. my puss. This is my pussy. My puss, my puss, my little, little puss. Smell my puss and lick my puss. My puss, puss. Everybody, put your pussy in the air. If you don't like me, then put your square, put your pussy in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later, Gizmo. Okay, I lost track of what the fuck I was talking about. Um. Uh, uh. We were talking about Ethan. Fuck Ethan. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What am I saying? <laughs> now I'm talking like big comfy crotch. Okay, we gotta move on from Ethan, even though he's pretty cool. Randall and Graham, you know, uh, Graham, oh, what the hell is his name? Uh, Hancock. Graham Hand on Cock. No, Hancock. Graham Hancock had, uh, and, and Randall, whatever, I can't remember his last name. They were on the Joe Rogan podcast yesterday. Like, two and a half hours they had a skeptic on and he brought a guy on skype and then graham got all pissy and then graham brought one of his guys on skype to defend randall um yeah it was pretty interesting a little a few parts were kind of boring and repetitive but it was worth a good watch this is not Selena Gomez. If you take a closer look, it is B to the O to the B. Marley. Oh, 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 ow. Hurt my legs. Almost broke my legs on camera. What would you have done, Big Comfy Couch? What would you have done, Big Comfy Couch, if I <laughs> broke my legs on camera? And you you were just sitting there watching me suffer. <laughs> Would you call an ambulance? 
Or would you just sit and watch? Or would you leave the podcast? If I was bleeding all over and I happened to tilt the camera down while I was suffering on the ground and you were watching me with blood all over the floor (laughs) and my legs are ripped to shreds for some reason and my cat starts eating my legs and uh <laughs> and I'm like, hey, big comfy crotch. I need you to call an ambulance. Would you call an ambulance? Or would you just sit there and watch? I bet you ten dollars you would sit there and watch. Actually I don't bet ten dollars, I bet ten rubles. All I got is rubles. I live in Russia. So I only spend rubles. I've got lots of rubles. You you ever seen a ruble? I'll show you what a ruble looks like. I'm trying to find a ruble. I don't got any rubles on me right now. Okay, Gizmo. Yeah, no. No, I don't got any rubles. So you're shit piss out of luck. And uh, listen, Big Comfy Crotch, yesterday you missed my outro because I forgot to play it. I completely forgot in the last two episodes to play my outro. But this time, I wrote it down on my blue card, so I'm going to remember it. I don't want to donate any money to Uber. Why would I want to donate money to Uber? Okay. Ah. I forgot the there's there seems to be something in the brackets here that says Randall's got a big handle. <laughs> now, big comfy crotch, if you're familiar uh <laughs> that's not how you spell rubles. That's not roofless. Rubles. How do you spell rubles? Rubles? Rubles. Not roofless. Oops. Now you're going to see how long the delay is when you see how long it took me to actually send you the word rubles compared to when it actually got sent to you. Did that make sense? You better be listening, big comfy crotch, because I'm dropping some knowledge. Randall's got a big handle. <laughs> Randall's the the big jolly guy with the white beard. Not Santa Claus. Not Santa Claus. He's the he's the guy who knew the shit about the geography. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> God. Big comfy crotch. I guess that's the reason why uh, Big Comfy Crotch wasn't following me on shit because he didn't see the intro, probably. Probably. Big Comfy Crotch, if you can tell the truth for once, which I know you're just a. You're probably going to just troll around because you're a little troll. But what is your actual age? Just be honest. Be pineapple honest. And I will explain. If you if you are pineapple honest about your age, I will explain to you where the expression pineapple honest came from. If you honestly tell me your age. And then I might pineapple honestly tell you my age. But we'll see where things go once this catches up to you. Uh huh. So Randall's got a big handle. Randall, obviously, he's got a big PP. That's what I was getting at. NWA gangster rap. What are we talking about here? Well, if you take a look behind me, I obviously have quite the collection of gangster rap nigga beats. You know what I'm saying? Double OG. I gotta shut my damn window.
I once had a little child listen, listen to a lot of things that I was screaming one time. I was just screaming some crazy stuff and I had my window open. I had no cameras rolling, nothing. <laughs> okay, he, he, he just revealed his age. He says, I am 22. Now don't assume my fender. Don't assume my fender. I'm assuming gender. Okay, big comfy crotch. Are you... You're definitely a dude. Guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed. What do I, what do I know? I don't know anything. You could be a polar bear. And I don't believe you're 22. I really don't believe you're 22. I really, really don't believe it, big comfy crotch. NWA. What the hell was I saying about NWA? It seems to be every single tick. Y'all are probably getting sick of listening to me say... Um... Questioning every tick that I have. But it's what I do. It's part of what happens in this stupid thing. Because it's an ep epidermic needle. An epidermic needle. Listen, big comfy crotch. You gotta get yourself in. An ep epidermic needle. You see that? Does this look like a floor to you? Because this is a floor. You see that, big comfy crotch this is a floor see floor and then this is where the wall starts and then the wall goes up M Mike am I trying to solicit big comfy crotch for nudes hell no because I know you're a dude, and I'm not into dudes, big comfy crotch. So don't get it twisted. Don't twist with what I got twisted. <laughs> I keep forgetting to talk about NWA. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh, I remember. I completely remember. I remember now. For those hoes who ain't hoes, but people who don't like gizmos, ah, want to see me figure out something cool? From no, hell no, hell fucking no. Don't go fucking around with no IP addresses, big comfy crotch. I will literally slice your throat. I know exactly. Where you motherfucking live. I know exactly where you live. <laughs> Motherfucker! Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so NWA. Right here, we got... If you've watched... Uh... Uh... St What's the movie called? <coughs> Straight out of Compton, you would have seen this. See, this is the the first Ruthless Records record. The first Ruthless Record record. Um, it has one song. Uh, or it has two songs. Look at that! It has two songs. 
Boys in the Hood, and Easy and Rendezvous. It's a real record, yo. Ta da! So that was, that's record number one. And. Yeah, it's not it's not that hard. All right, big comfy crotch. You know, that's not that impressive that you figured out my location. It's been out there. It's available. So, we move on to Uh, what am I getting into now? We got you now's Terabrite is live. See, this was their first actual album right here. I probably wasn't even showing the YouTube camera at all. I wasn't even paying attention. But here we have Check this shit out. The first album. I don't even know where these came from. Found them in a garbage can. It opens right the fuck up. I am about as baked as a llama in a cake factory. So we got two... We got two records in this bad boy. One. I keep forgetting about the YouTube camera. I that looked like I just pulled out the same record, didn't it? I'll prove to you that there's two. Oh my goodness, this is very, 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 very hard to do. There's two. Hallelujah. Oh shit. Aftermath. That was when Dr. Dre left, but that's not what this is. This is when Dr. Dre was still in it. These, both these albums, Dr. Dre had left. Had left the ghetto. <laughs> Did I say Dr. Dre? I meant Ice Cube. Ice Cube left the building. I closed the Twitch stream, didn't I? I closed the fucking... One second. One second. Ugh. Just goddamn advertisements. I gotta watch advertisements on my own goddamn video. How do I close this? Okay. So as I was saying, after Ice Cube had left, you know, the NWA motherfuckers went to make 100 miles and running. And niggas for life. What are you talking about now, big comfy crotch? Is 
What YouTube link? I think I've ran out of things to talk about. Except for signatures. If you got a cool signature, you're cool. Ew, what the hell? What is this trends on Facebook? All right. I guess that's it. I'm going to have to end it here. I'll see you in the next one.